Congratulations, Mr. Norton. This is John from Lakeshore V Center. I'm gonna be walking around today to show you the basics on your new Torque travel trailer. So one of the first things to note is we've got a battery disconnect switch up here in front that we have to make sure is turned on. Notice the green position. If that's turned on, that'll draw power off your battery. So things like your power tongue jack like that will function, your LED lights, even when we're not plugged in. You've got a generator here on the side. That is all started from the inside of the camper. You got your hot water heater here. Plugs in because it's been already tested and stuff like that. You've got your docking center over here, your fresh water fill, city water connection. This is your electrical hookup, spray port, and black tank flush. Furnace exhaust, you keep the little ones away from that as it can get hot. There's your tires. It is a good idea to check the lug nuts on your tires after the first 250 miles as they can become loose. Your refrigerator vent for the back of the fridge. This is your fill for your um, fuel cooling station. This is your Ram Airs. I'm gonna show you what your patio looks like here. The gentleman is detailing and cleaning that up for you to make it look amazing. Beautiful patio system on this. We're gonna walk around here to the other side. Let's see. They're getting her all scrubbed up and ready for you. Your power jack button is located right there. Your dispensing nozzle for your fuel is right behind here. They've zip tied all that for you up. There's your tires on this side. Okay, over up here in the front compartment, we've got an additional battery disconnect. That's for your solar. That's your inverter system. And to turn on your inverter system, you have to make sure you hit this power right here. And you wanna make sure, of course, this is turned to green, okay? This will let you know your panel's charging, on off front lights, your electrical adapter. They're gonna give you a, well, this is 30 amp, so that's a 30 to 15 amp adapter. Motion sensor light right there. Wonderful storage in there. Okay, let's take a look inside real quick. Carbon monoxide detector, that has a green light down below there. This is where everything's kind of controlled from. That's your solar controller right there. This is where we slide your camper in and out, slide your awning in and out. Water heater, we turn on that right there. Interior cabin lights are turned on from in here. Awning lights, porch lights. We test the levels of your tanks right from there. Your overhead fan for that fan up there. Turn on our heat and AC. We'll push this multiple times. A little snowflake appears. That's our air conditioning. We set desired temperature with the up and down arrow keys for that. Notice that kicked on, you can hear it. If you go to our furnace, see the wavy lines. We're gonna hit that again, up and down arrow keys for desired temperature, and then go ahead to shut it off. We'll hit it one more time. Keys around your kitchen faucet. Okay. Let's fold back your cover here. That's your stove, your spark igniter's right there. So when we go to light, we turn it to light, then we spark ignite it. We're all set there. That's how simple that is. Your refrigerator's gas electric, easy operation. We push that in to turn that on. It's gonna go to the most convenient power source if we go to auto. That means if we're plugged in, it'll go to electric. If we wanna force gas, we can push the button in and it'll pop out when it's extended. It'll go to gas for us, but always generally leave it on auto, okay? Step-by-step -step instructions on how to walk you through that as well. Put you right there. Your stereo, chairs, all your various things for your camper right there, your owner's manuals, your remote for your stereos down there. These are Ram Airs. It'll allow fresh air into the camper, squeeze, push forward, and that fresh air can come right in. Foot flush on your toilet right there, just easy to remember that. You do have breakers on your outlets. If you ever have to push to reset those, you just push that right there. That'll reset that. Overhead fan, those switches right there. Always a good idea to keep your doors locked when you're going down the road. Your generator starts from in the front there. And do keep in mind, you have multiple air conditioners, which means you have multiple thermostats. 
So that's kind of the basics that walks you through, gives you a general idea of how to operate things and where things are located. If you do have additional questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call. You can reach me at 231-740-6225. Thank you and have a great day.